How are you feeling, man? Feeling great. You know, weight is good. I have opponent. <laughs> Yesterday was great, crazy good day. Because Tony's out, you know. All day I hope maybe it's first April joke. Please, maybe it's first April joke. <sighs> but goal is for my childhood dream. Goal is not Connor, Tony, or somebody else. Goal is belt. How are you, brother? I'm good. How are you liking the snow right now? Mm, I'm like this, like uh, Russia. I never had my own. White mocha. Thank you. Вот он как, а мне же вон походу. Курва. Я-то не знаю, я когда знаю, слушай, я подошел, я думал, что я сказал, что. Welcome to New York City, baby. Venom, Venom. Ay, ay, ay. We're at Henzo Gracie, Brooklyn Academy. This is the final stages, the final hours of the work. Um, about to do a little training session here with Khabib, the Eagle. We're gonna do some grappling, uh, just get a little sweat, get a good sweat, and then we gotta go to media day. The work doesn't end. Let's go, Zubay. Now is it the Let's go, bro. <laughs> Let's go, show me your offensive move. Давай, покажи. So, give me the knife, bro. Give me the knife. <laughs> hey, look at this. Why you do this? <laughs> it's a crazy matchup. Um, I mean, in my opinion, two of the the greatest fighters of this era. I mean. I, I'm kind of torn because you know I I grew up I'm from Hawaii so Max uh, Max is one of the guys that that put us on the map and Khabib's like a brother to me but man the I'll tell you one thing the Hawaiians and the Dagestanis two two of the toughest cultures in this world and uh, they're two warriors and that's all I can say and uh, you know props to Max for taking this fight on six days notice and props to Khabib too for accepting this fight you know we, we think back to maybe uh what was the fight when John Jones um who was he supposed to fight Charles Sonnen on eight days notice he didn't take that fight because you know he's game planning for someone else and this is the same thing Khabib was game planning for Tony Max is stepping in so uh man I'm just I'm just gonna sit back and watch this one as a fan and just enjoy uh this moment of history where, uh, you know, two of the greatest fighters of this time will go in there and go to battle.
I today smash big guy. Okay. <laughs> How you smash me, bro? <laughs> Little bit, yes. This is world champion of defense. <laughs> Defensive world. Two time, two time world champion. Yes. For him, it's good. Just block, thing, you know. 100 kilograms. 70 kilograms. Hey, this professional fight. Too much. Train two time day. Me? One time, month. <laughs> One second, bro. One second. Pressure. How much pressure? Ow! Shit. You see? Shoot your hand. Guys, be aggressive a little bit. That hand that goes in the back of the head. Doesn't matter the opponent, right? Yeah. Doesn't matter who. McGregor, Tony, King Kong, Tyson. Doesn't matter. Easy money. Connor say. Oh, when Frank, when uh, when Frank hit an opponent, hey, I want to step up, I want to step up. But and he... after that, my nephew call me. You know who's my nephew? Dana White is my nephew. You uh -huh, understand? Okay. He said, hey, you know, uh, you know, we want to fight a uh, Max Holloway. I say, what happened with Connor? Oh, Connor go on vacation. I say, where you go on vacation? He say he go in Syria and his cell phone is not working. There no <laughs> signal. <laughs> no connect. Hey, they can no connect. <laughs> But uh, he said, brother, "Brother, we told this guy, brother, it's Habib time. Brother. Nobody believed this. What happened? What now? time is it, guys? <laughs> what time is it? 10:30. No." no. <laughs> This guy all the time smash corner. The, the beginning, is, the beginning yeah. is, cra is good. Yeah, it's crazy. You see, you guys see beginning? I'm defending my belt. Hey, now we move like this. You understand? Careful. Don't go like this. Like gonna yeah. hold your hands, yeah. son. Yeah. You hold your hands, son. <laughs> You know how he got injured? He was doing an interview on Fox, like in the lot, and he see a friend. Hey, how are you? Boom! I fell. But he talked about, I'm wrestling with the mountain, I'm talking with the deers, and the little stairs kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Accident. Accident. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, I feel, I feel bad. For, I feel bad for Tony a little bit, but but he talks so much shit. I don't really don't. You know what I'm saying? And Connor, this fucking guy. When Frankie, he's like, oh, I am. Uh, he tweeted five, six days. Away, stay ready. Okay. Stay ready. What happened? Max, I want to say thank you for him. You take this fight, but I'm not not underestimating. But hey, you pull out one month ago. Like you all the time vacation. You're not ready for fight. Right? You're not ready for bracing guy. Last fight, Aldo, Aldo, Petis, Jeremy Stevens, Ricardo Lamas. Nobody like me. Nobody. Everybody's striking guys. Yo, he he's great striker. You know, like he's for reason champ. But this is fight the way. This one is different territory, different and different like you know like hunter like everything is different here he's the longest reigning champion you see history like with history <laughs> he did but but the guy you know he he a lot of guys making more money because of him you can't take this away from him. <laughs> 
we just have a media lunch. Me here, my man uh, Khabib, Dan, and we're ready to go to Matt Sarah's show. He's a Henzo Gracie black belt. We have to give him some support. And uh, we're gonna go to my favorite Jew, Ariel Hawani. Dan, how you like New York? Man? Uh, I'm a country boy, but it's all right, you know, big city, bunch of people. It's cool just to kind of get out of the comfort zone, get out of your environment, but when I'm here, it's, it's just strictly business, so I'm enjoying it, just living in the moment. All day, this guy talking about jacket. He gave me this jacket, he thought, wow, jacket, like, please. No, it looks good. I can see biceps, I can see everything in the jacket. <laughs> biceps too? But yes. You think brother. I have biceps? You read, but now you have biceps. I don't know what happened. But my heart more heavy than my biceps, but you think so? I think my heart more big than your head, brother. <laughs> brother, please, but but I this head, brother, like how are you gonna be the like, crazy head? Brother, my heart more big than your head. Shaka, Shaka, bra. Yeah. Holloway, aloha, but mahalo. <laughs> First door on the right. Bathroom, yes. Go to the right. Hello. What's up? Is that your body? What's up, homie? How are you? Where is our... Hey, how are you? Where has our producer gone? Chris, uh... Hey, What's up, Okay, Chris just went down. Professor, how are you? Get in here. Get, get close. Get close. Do you got Zabit coming in, too? Oh, no. He's a beat. I got four guys on this guy. Um, get close to that mic. Get it. You can yeah, be in right here, now. man. Uh, Hang out with us. Uh, You're like the manager. Yeah, you know. Mark are. Henry was on here just singing your praise. Yes, he was. You know what? Um, actually, it's a story about becoming a manager. When I become a manager, Hanzo said, you should become a manager. I was like, I don't know shit about managing. He's like, you're going to manage me. You are with the Hanzo Grace. And Hanzo is my, my, you know, my first client, and he opened a door for me. He really don't need a fucking manager. He just want to help me out. Yeah. And uh, and I start now, we have 120 fighters. Probably 50 fighters in the UFC, uh, probably double any other management, and uh, we're staying humble. I'm gonna be honest with yeah. my fans, with all. Oh, yeah, I never yeah, take this well, fight. You know why? Because I have to, when I go to the cage, I go to the like war. You know, I have to be ready for this. I'm gonna say, no, I'm gonna, I don't take this fight. I need eight weeks for training camp and one more week for make weight. Why I need to take this fight? You know? Like he talked about, oh, I can jump here, take this, like stay ready, blah, blah, blah. Because he put all the things for fans, because fans beginning to forget him. You know, like two years, because every year MMA go high level, high level, high level. Yeah. First world champion, first father, oh, get him in here, man. Michael Gould. What's up, brother? He fight with a picture, man. Nice to see you, man. Yeah. Michael, get in here, guys. Oh, Let's get a picture. Get in here, guys. Come on. Let me get in this picture too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get in here, right? <laughs> Good. Look at that. Uh... Yeah, take one there first. You know, now if um, Ariel Hawani, yeah. we can say, hey, be humble. Yeah, now we're gonna we smash have... him now. Ariel now Hawani, I have, I have brother humble. now. <laughs> me and my Sarah brother. Yes. More close than Ariel. Brother, Hawani. we can make him humble. I'll get my brother. Ready, brother. Have I'm ready. Ready. gonna make you humble. Any with fighters, you yes. Yes. Uh, where we go now? Uh, and finish. Finish? finish. Yeah. What time is it now? Habib time. <laughs> Three. Three or three. This guy. What do you don't want to say, brother? You don't want to say. My team. What time is it? Three or three. What time is it? Three or three. He is UFC guy. UFC. This is make my mind very sad. You know, like because I can't believe how this happened. You know, because you know it's very. Interesting fight for fans, very important fight for lightweight division, you know, like I still said too, you know, but it's okay. This is part of the game. I told I told Tony Ferguson, hey, don't talk too much about my injuries because nobody protect about from this. And this is hard sport and you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Yeah, he went at you, he said that you took food off of his kid or his family's table. And now he has to back out. Thankfully, you got another big opponent in there. But what is your message to Tony Ferguson today? Nothing. Just shut up right now. And that's it.
But I told you yesterday. I can't understand. Good luck. Busy day today. That this one. Go back to hotel. Three hours sleep. Wake up. Go running. Other stuff. End up right here. Here he is, my friend. We didn't know if it would happen. Let, let's hug. Habib, how are you, my friend? It's you. Please have a seat. Have a seat, Habib. Salam alaikum, my brother. Hello to the team, everyone here. You, what is this? Bullshit chair, huh? This is bullshit chair. To UFC, and he had one of the best win streak in UFC. And you know, he's tough. He's not small guy. Right now, I believe he's bigger than me. And, uh, but we have to make weight. It's, it's a crazy situation. I don't want to think about, oh, it's, it's much easier fight than Tony Ferguson. I don't think. I think if they fight, Max Holloway gonna give him big problem. Mm. You know, like if stand up fight, I think Max Holloway can beat him. This is damn problem. How was your first Hawaii, time on, you have problem. On the MMA hour, how, how you, did you like it? Yeah, I like this. You know, Ariel Hawani, we talk. We have big drama show before, big drama show. It's good, it's good. Bro. Everything is good. Media lunch finish, Matt Serra show finish, Ariel Hawani show finish. Now we go home, rest. After four hours, go training again. <laughs>